Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review. Goat World Music. Alright, yeah, these guys are a Swedish instrumental experimental and psychedelic rock band who pretty much wear their influences on their sleeves when it comes to the title of this debut album of theirs. <clears throat> While this collective is a rock band at heart, they kind of lily pad from one musical culture to another as they transition from one jam to another across these nine tracks. The band moves from tribal drum circles to afrobeat grooves to what kind of seems like very windy desert rock that would definitely fit the bill of a band like Tenari Wen. To an extent this band is able to paint some musical portraits of foreign lands with not much more than guitars, drums, vocals vocals with a little keyboard and, and saxophone added on as well. However, this band's approach to world music isn't exactly authentic or rootsy or anthropological in nature. In fact, it is pretty gentrified with lots of guitar distortion, elements of psychedelic rock, and this modern indie band lo-fi style recording, and I'm not saying that's necessarily a, a bad thing. These guys are definitely taking these influences and twisting them to their own slightly punked out whims. I'm just saying I don't think world music purists are going to see much use in this record. The angle that this album will most likely see success with are with people who are into garage and psychedelic rock and are kind of seeing this element of African music or Middle Eastern music thrown in as kind of an interesting piece of novelty. I personally would not call myself a world music purist, but I do think the way that this band incorporated a lot of these foreign elements into their garage and psychedelic rock is, is kind of flimsy. I don't want to say these guys haven't listened to a lot of world music because, of course, I don't know what they have or have not listened to, but to me, a lot of tracks on here whether it's because of a lack of musicianship or just a lack of experience, aren't really able to move past the musical stereotypes of the genre or the style of music that Goat is trying to infuse into this mix of psychedelic and garage rock. Take the songs Let It Bleed and Disco Fever, for example, two tracks on here that are clearly influenced by Afrobeat and, and really kind of embrace the genre tightly to the point where the band's psychedelic rock influences aren't really at the forefront. But when it comes to Afrobeat or just generally African rock, the rhythm guitars, the beats, the vocal melody too, it's, it's all pretty generic. There's nothing electrifying about what they have written on these tracks or really how they're playing them together. I don't really get a lot of fire from hearing these guys play these songs out and kind of jam them. And the thing is, I don't really feel like they do either because if they did, they would certainly string these songs out longer than just kind of an average length, wouldn't they? I mean, the longest track on here is just under eight minutes and it's the last song. And as this track kind of pads itself out, it's delivering all of these very kind of lazily improvised organ notes that don't really add up to much. However, I do like the ending of the track, which is pretty explosive with the theme melody of that song and the opening track. It's really one of the more ambitious parts on this LP, just, you know, kind of ambition I wish showed up a bit more. However, I will not say this album is completely underwhelming or uninteresting. I do think the fusion of influences and just genres that Goat has put together on this LP is a pretty good idea. There are moments on here like Goatman that have some pretty strong wah guitar, some fuzz bass, some chanting and African drums. To me, the track works so well conceptually that it just feels like these styles of music were meant to be together. The song Goat Head kind of ends up entertaining me for similar reasons despite some slightly flat singing. And the track Goat Lord is, is actually kind of a piece of psychedelic folk, very mystical 
actually slightly pretty, ethereal, spacious. It's kind of the album's cool down before the very burning closer. Overall, I mean, I was pretty indifferent on this LP, to be completely honest. I was excited at first because of just the mix of sounds that I was hearing, but as I dove further into this album, just the lack of musicianship and just musical ideas had me just feeling very cold. And because that's not there, this album merely functions on some interesting sounds, textures, and just the novel idea of just these two musical worlds coming together. And that does work to an extent, but just not so far for me that I ended up liking the LP. I'm kind of feeling a strong to decent five on this LP. If you've given it a listen, what did you think of it? Did you love it? Hate it? Why? And what should I review next? Anthony Fantano, go forever. <laughs> <laughs>